Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Max Creation TV, giving you all the updates, talking about the job, talking about the different things, what you need to know about the Gulf countries, and definitely how better you can prepare yourself, and how better can you make someone best, or how can you make yourself better in every single day. We are talking about when you talk about what you call job and what you call about changing, changing jobs. I know there are two things or there are two statements, some of us, or there are two things that definitely you need to understand is changing employer from one employer to another employer within the country and is getting recruited from outside the country these are two things yes i got this question and someone was kindly asking me what are the procedures remember when you talk about the procedure you are changing from one employer to another employer or from one company to another company remember when you are coming into the country you are being recruited by either one employer or by um, a, a different country you are outside the country so when you are coming outside of the country, let's say, for example, you're coming from Nepal, from Bangladesh, India, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Ghana, Morocco, Guinea, Sierra Leone, any country that you may be coming from, and you are coming from outside, you need to take what you call the medicals. You will have to take what you call the medical fitness test. They will have to ascertain whether you are medically or you are fit to perform those kind of tasks that you are being recruited for. And not even only those kind of tasks that you are also do not contain or do not have contagious diseases that will be a burden to the what you call the healthy sector in this country. That will give them a hard time. Some of these countries have diseases that have existed or that have gone away that have never, decades and decades they've gone away from their country. And some other countries still look or, or still have them. So that is one aim of them having you to take the medicals. So once you're in the country, definitely you are in the country. Okay, let us now try to look at the situation. You have changed from one employer to another. Let's say, for example, you are changing from a cleaning company to a security company or from a security company to a cleaning company. One of the procedure or one of the main things that I told you that you need to consider is how much money you are going to get from one company to another before you think of changing. If you are going to change from a security company to another company, to let's say a cleaning company, that cleaning company should be giving you a higher salary compared to what you've been earning. That is one of the requests for the uh, Minister of Labor to recruit or to approve you. Otherwise, you will have what you call rejections. So let us try to look at the medical, what you call the medicals within the country. So if you've been in the country, let's say for example for two years and you've concluded what you call your contract, and you want to change to another employer, you will have what you call an NOC for you to have approval to give grant or permission that no objection of you to change to a new employer. You will change. Meaning that if you change to a new employer who is either going to be in a hotel sector, let's say for example from employer A, which is Max, to employer B, which is Malcolm, then that means you will not have to take medical. Because already you are in the country and you've been in the country. It is few rare instances where they would have to take you back for medicals. Unless that job requirement or just job description or what is being mentioned there, the employer that is recruiting you, he will want to have a clear picture of you. Then he will have to take you for medicals again for what you call a rechecker. But if you are just changing from one employer to another and you are within the country, most of the times, or at times, or most of the times, most employers do not need medicals for you. And that's if you look physical and physically fit, and you prove you are unfit, then definitely they'll have to check out which kind of physique or which kind of person we are recruiting to be part of our brand. That is something that I need to let you know. So for people who definitely think about that, you are not going to do more medicals. Unless if you get someone who's going to recruit you, and he tells you exit out to the nearest airport or next exit to the nearest entry point. He gives you a fresh visa coming from outside. Then you have to take medicals for you to get what you call the QID. But for, apart from that case or that scenario, it is if you are within the country, it will be change of visa from one employer to another employer. If before you came as a security or you came as a cleaning company or as a cleaner, then the new employer will have to change the, the visa from this to his ownership. 
which is what we call the hospitality or housekeeping in either in a sector that you are going to. Meaning that it is within, done within the country. You don't have to take remedy course. But if you are going to exit and they are going to give you what you call a fresh visa, I would say to have a new re-entry into the country, that means you will have to take what you call the medicals. That is the difference. Hope I've tried to share some, something or I've, I've tried to share it for someone who asked me the question. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will be the only way that you'll be updated whenever I get to upload something new that you'll be enjoying. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember, next from the next creation and next from the Malcolm X uh, TV, the endless inspiration. Thank you so much. See you again.